Right, tell you there champs, and guess what? There actually is a good Android tablet. Yes, indeed there is. And is this thing the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8 Ultra and iPad Pro killer? Today I'm going to be talking about the Huawei MatePad 11. And I'm going to tell you what it was like to use this thing. So if you don't know, here in Australia right now it is summer. So we went away for a bit of a summer break. And I thought all I'll need is email and stuff like that. I can play some mobile games maybe. I don't need a laptop. Let's just see how it goes with this MatePad 11. I'll try to use just this. Now I'm not going to lie, I did take a laptop with me. I actually used the MatePad. X, which I'll leave a link in the description to a review of that unit. It is one of my favorite Ultrabooks. And yes, I did take it away with me, but I actually only had to use it once. So I guess in terms of tablets replacing your laptop, it can be done if you just have normal web surfing needs and you don't mind mobile games and you're just doing email and stuff like that. You can do it on a tablet. And this MatePad 11 is actually good. It weighs 485 grams. It's 7.25 millimeters thick. It's basically 11 inch display, 10.95. And I think that is the perfect size go to tech tablets he does have the new samsung i'll leave a link in the description to those videos but he was saying the new samsung tab ultra just too big and i found that with the ipad pro the big one it's just too big to carry around as a tablet. It's okay, it's sort of like a laptop if you want to use it with a keyboard and stuff like that. But to hold that as a tablet, no. This is the perfect size. It has a great build quality, 86% screen to body ratio. This is a 120 hertz display, LCD, IPS, nice, smooth, connected feeling using it. 100% P3 gamut. It is a 16 by 10, 1600p display. This display is gorgeous. Powered by the Snapdragon 865, which I have no problems with. I was able to play games it never hindered me at all this chipset is perfect for this tablet honestly i haven't used that many tablets but i never had an issue with this with performance uses harmony os which is huawei's operating system 128 gigs storage and you can expand the storage with a micro sd card slot and it has a 7250 milliamp hour battery i only had to charge it a couple of times we were up there over a week so the battery life is really amazing on this thing can charge up to 25 watts it does have wi-fi 6 but no connectivity like 3G or 4G, 5G, whatever. It is Wi-Fi only. So when I actually did take it out, I had to tether it. Now, of course, you can get the keyboard with it. I did get the keyboard and they sent me the pen, which works really well. 4,096, you know, pressure point sensitivity there. It's actually a good pen. You put it on top, it charges. The keyboard is actually nice. It's sort of like a case as well. And I'll tell you one thing about this that is really good. If you have a Huawei laptop, you get Huawei Share as well. So you can transfer files. You can use it as an external display have a game on a tablet and actually play it on your pc your mate book of course i'm talking about here that is amazing that i'm still not a big tablet fan to replace a laptop there's no trackpad sort of felt a bit weird there was one day where i had a heap of emails and i just go no i'm going to the mate book i'm just going to use that it's just going to be quicker for me to do it but other than that just for my mobile gaming normal web surfing email you know nothing too heavy duty no problems using this didn't hear any fan noise of course it's mobile it doesn't get hot even when you game i had a good gaming experience 120 hertz display you know the chipset didn't hold me back the display looks amazing and i think this is better than the big ipad pro or the new tab ultra just because of its size i mean it's not going to have the performance of those things those things cost a lot more as well but i think this is the perfect tablet that's good enough to get you 90 percent there of, of what you can do with a laptop some people are all in on this experience and i have no complaints about this thing the only thing that you might find a bit strange with this is you don't have the google play store so you're going to have to use pedal search in my experience most of the stuff worked on you know normal browser so that's fine and that's a better experience than mobile apps a lot of the time and you won't be able to get some games probably but there's this thing called pedal search and most of the apps i wanted to use were there and the ones that weren't there i could just use the web browser so that's just one thing to bear in mind there but yeah i like this tablet it's really good thought i'd share my summer experience with this thing and i'll leave a link to tech tablets review and he's also got the latest samsung so go check out those videos he does much more comprehensive stuff he's reviewed a lot more tablets see i ain't got nothing to compare this to because i haven't even used an android tablet for a long time but i gotta say it is a really good tablet so anyway catch you in the next one tally ho